Hi, I'm Kevin Hartley and welcome to Kevin Hartley Photography. Um, as a boy, well, as a small boy growing up in Scotland, the, the house that we lived on backed onto a wood. And um, I would often hear and I would often see jays in and around about the house and in the local area. They're absolutely wonderful looking birds. So what I want to do in this video is share with you my experience of photographing jays. What we'll do is we'll look at how to identify a jay, we'll look at where to find jays, we'll look at the lifestyle and the diet and then I'll share with you how I go about photographing jays and hopefully you'll be able to get some pictures like this. Okay, how do we go about identifying a jay? Um, it's quite difficult actually uh, when you, you, you look at the differences between male and female and we'll talk about that in a minute or two. But the, the jays are a member of the, the, the corvid family, crows. It's about the size of a jackdaw, um, similar in height and, and, and shape. Um, its Latin name, uh, if I can get this right, gar garulus glandulus um, has two meanings. The, the garulus part means it's noisy, which jays are. And the glandulous part means of acorns. And when we look at um, its lifestyle and its diet, you, you'll see why jays are often associated with acorns. Um, the jay itself is, uh, on the outside, it is mainly pink and brown. Um, the underbelly is, is slightly paler. Um, the wings are black and white uh, in patches. And they have striking blue and black stripes on the wing. Uh, you, you can't mistake, mistake the bird for anything else when you see the, the beautiful blue and black flashes on its wing. Um, the tail is uh, white and often when you, you, you watch jays in flight, when they're flying through a wood or they go past you, what you will see is this brilliant um, white flash. Uh, it really does stand out and you'll know straight away that it's a jay. Um, when it comes to the, the, the head of the bird, um, you'll see that the jay has a really, really good um, identifying feature of a, a black moustache. And its bill um, is a very thick black bill, um, which you will see in action uh, when it's feeding. Um, and that's the, that's the jay, that's how to identify them. Um, as I said, it's very difficult to tell the difference between males and females. Um, the difference really being that the, the females tend to be slightly smaller and a bit duller in colour. Um, although um, on the more mature female birds um, you will see um, some streaks on, on the chest. But it's very, very difficult to, to identify um, the, the difference between a male and a female. And I really think unless you see them standing side by side, that's the only real time that you will be able to tell the difference between a, a male and a female um, jay. Okay, is there another way to identify the jay? Well, yes there is, and that's by the, by the call. Jays are, more often than not, are heard um, before the scene. Um, they have two... But jays can often be um, mistaken by people um, for, for a magpie and as you'll hear they, they, they may sound slightly alike but there is, a, there, there is a difference that you should be able to tell the difference between a jay and a magpie. There are two calls uh, basically. Um, first one that you're going to hear is a, a, is a contact call that jays will use between each other. Um, that's just to give sort of like the all clear, everything's fine. That's the first one you hear. And then the, the second one you're going to hear is the alarm, which is a, a lot louder. And this is where the noisy part of uh, its name comes in. In fact, in, in Wales, the J was known as the Shrieker of the Woods.
So, where are we going to find Jays? Um, Jays are resident birds here in the UK. Uh, however, um, if there is a bad winter over on the continent, um, we sometimes get eruptions of Jays into the country. Um, they're mainly found in mixed upland uh, woodland. Um, they prefer oak trees, acorns being um, a big part of their diet, which we'll look at in a minute or two. Uh, but you also find them in parks and gardens. Um, they will come to bird tables and um, feeder stations. Um, I've set up a feeder station um, this year and uh, that's where I've got the vast majority of my photographs from. But they will come to bird tables and if you're lucky like Mr and Mrs Roberts that I know in Germany, um, <laughs> they have jays coming into the garden virtually every day and they get some really good photographs of them in the garden. Um, the secret to, to finding the jay is really if you find oak trees with a good supply of acorns, then the likelihood is pretty much high that there will be jays in the area. So, mixed woodland, parks and gardens, bird tables and feeder stations are where you're going to find the jays. Okay, when we look at the, the jays lifestyle, um, jays um, often form long term bonds with their, with their partners. Um, the breeding season normally starts around about late April um, and the nest itself is, is built by both birds. Uh, jays normally have only one brood a year and they'll lay between five and six eggs. Uh, once the uh, chicks hatch then both parents will look after them until they fledge. Um, when we look at the diet of the jay, uh, it's pretty much a, a very varied diet. Um, it's everything from acorns, berries, seeds, insects. They will take small mammals if they can get them, um, but they are notorious for, for raiding um, birds' nests and taking the eggs and the, the, the fledglings, um, especially when they're, they're, they're feeding the, the, their own young. Um, what I'll do now is I'm just going to show you uh, two short clips um, of uh, jays that came to the feeder station that I've, I've got uh, running at the moment and what I want you to do is count the number of uh, nuts that the, the jay eats. Um, they are notorious for, for hoarding food um, and what they'll do is they'll um, get as much as they can into the crop then they'll fly off um, and then stash or cache the food uh, for, for, for leaner times. Um, so as I said, you know, oak trees and, and acorns are the, the main natural stable diet, but they love peanuts too, as you're about to see. Okay, well, what I want to do now is uh, I, want you, I want to talk you through my approach to, to photographing jays. Um, as I said earlier on, I, I set up a feeder station in a, in a private wood um, local to where I am and I'll leave a link at the end of this video um, which goes through the, my top five tips and how to set up a bird feeder station and it was at this feeder station that all these photographs of the jays were taken. Uh, so I think that's probably your best chances to get near a, a jay is at a, either a bird table or a feeder station because uh, normally out in the woods you, you, you just see them fly past you. Um, what I'll do is I will talk you through my approach uh, or my settings for hand holding um, my, my camera. I shoot with a, a, a Canon R5. Um, I'll talk about settings for um, using a tripod or a monopod or a beanbag and then I'll talk about the settings that I set for um, taking pictures of jays in flight. Now, I sh always shoot in manual and I always shoot in raw and that's just so that I've got more control over my post-processing. Um, I do have a, 
what I would call a generic set of settings that I, I go to um, for my general bird photography and that's f7.1 aperture um, speed of about 1000 and auto ISO uh, I always leave my um, camera settings on auto ISO once, I, once it's set at auto ISO I just forget about it um, the way that the um, modern day especially the mirrorless cameras nowadays uh, and the, the software that's available that uh, can deal with noise I just put it in auto ISO and, and, and leave it um, so three approaches um, first one is um, hand holding um, the camera to, to photograph jays um, just a good idea just to remember the, the good old reciprocal rule um, which says that um, you should set your shutter speed um, to, to, ma to, to match the, the focal length of your, your lens so if you're shooting with a 500mm lens then your shutter speed minimum should be 1 500th of a second uh, I double it um, and I have no problems with that and that, that's my, my standard go to um, speed of setting, uh, shutter setting so for handhold it is f7.1 to, to f8 and depending on the depth of field uh, and the light available uh, 1 1000th per second shutter speed and I set it to auto ISO when it comes to um, photographing um, J's uh, from a, a tripod uh, or a bean bag or, or a monopod um, I can get my shutter speed down to about 250th of a second and I'm quite happy to do that and that will automatically lower um, your ISO as well so my settings for supported again 7.1 to, to f8 shutter speed of 1 250th of a second and auto ISO for um, supported then when it comes to photographing birds and uh, jays in flight and the fantastic birds to photograph in flight and if you get the picture right you, they're just stunning birds um, again aperture is not going to 7.1 to f8 probably f8 give me that little bit more depth of field um, and I set my shutter speed at a minimum of 1 2000th of a second and I don't touch it I don't change it and I find that 2000th of a second is spot on for photographing J's in flight and again I set it to auto ISO and that's the settings that I use for photographing um, J's okay just to summarize uh, how I my, my approach to photographing uh, J's uh, I always shoot in manual shoot in raw um, set my aperture 7.1 to, to 8 set it at auto ISO and the only thing that will change is the shutter speed 250th of a second when it's supported 1000th of a second if it's handheld and 2000th of a second if it's in flight what I want to do now is just leave you with what I consider to be some of my best images that I've taken of Jays at the feeder station um, this winter uh, I hope that you enjoy them Okay, thanks for watching Kevin Hartley Photography and How to Photograph Jays. I hope you've thoroughly enjoyed it as much as I have um, photographing and filming it this winter. Um, as I said at the beginning, uh, ever since I was a small boy growing up in Scotland, I've been fascinated with Jays. They're beautiful birds and they're great to photograph. So I hope you have enjoyed it. All I would ask is that if you've liked it, could ask you to hit the like button. Um, could ask you also to consider subscribing to my channel Kevin Hartley Photography on YouTube. It's completely free, it doesn't cost anything. Uh, it just it gives me that incentive to keep going out into the, the countryside and photographing and filming wildlife and nature and then sharing it with others on YouTube. Uh, and, and that's what I enjoy to do. So until this, next time, stay safe, take care and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.